As human as we are, we have the tendency to take glory to ourselves and glory we don't deserve. And God has a way of preventing us from exalting ourselves above, you know, ourselves. And then trying to take the glory that only belongs to him. So that's the apostle Paul said, our boasting should be in the Lord. And, and no wonder anything that God has a signature on, you will find out that your human element is very little. When God does it, you will surely know that this is the finger of God. Without the hand of a human being. But God uses us all right. God uses us all right. But God does it so that at the end of it, we will see his hand and give him the glory. The word, the spice is to look down or see something or someone as insignificant. But I, but I have come to declare to you this morning that in spite of your beginning which may be small, your end will greatly increase. Amen. Five centuries before Jesus Christ was born, the children of Israel returned from exile in Babylon. Israel for fin kwasum ewa Babylon eba umkrum. And when they returned, they found out that the city was in ruins and the the the, the whole place was so deplorable and the now, temple destroyed. One more sign by no mu se e krono atwa piche se kroni nye kro one more so da ye bubu e kroni na ye basa. And so at that time zero Bible among the first group who, who returned was the primary leader of the group. And so quickly they tried to put things together to fix the temple and to lay the foundation. But due to opposition and certain issues and political issues, they managed only to do the foundation. Neighbors fought the project. Now, said that a point they got a restraining order to prevent them from continuing. And so for 16 good years, it was just the foundation level. It was such a dispirited scene for any Israelite to see. And everything was down. Everyone was down in spirit. The, the, the city in ruins. The temple destroyed. And for the Israelites, the temple is so vital. Even the destruction, destruction of the temple alone put them in misery. And as they were down spirited, they didn't know what to do, and they were so confused. The Spirit of the Lord came upon a man of God by name Zechariah. And he said, It is not by might, neither by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord. You may see the situation as looking impossible. 
You may look at a situation or your circumstance and then conclude that nothing good will come out of the situation. You must look at the situation and conclude that your life has come to an end. You must look at your situation and declare yourself unfit for the assignment. And that is when God comes into the picture. When you get to your wit's end. When you get to a point when you know all your strength and all your political connections and all the links you have is no more working. You've tried everything like Peter on the sea. We've tried everything. We've used all the strategy. We've tried everything we have to try. Oh, and nothing is happening. But when Jesus comes, that is when Jesus came into the picture. And the Bible says that Jesus said, cast your net again. Hallelujah. Peter was using aqua strategies. He, he, he knows the ins and outs. He, he knows where to get fish and, and get a bumper harvest. But, and so he, he strategically applied all the principles he had to apply. But he got to a point that his his whole strategies and all that he had to accomplish could not accomplish the purpose until Jesus appears on the Amen. scene. Amen. So you You have done all that you have to do. You have linked yourself to all the links. Whatever you have to do to succeed and to make sure you live a lasting legacy, you have tried everything. But when Jesus appears on the scene, he comes with a new direction. And that direction will unlock the blessing, the favor, the mighty hand of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Because this, but this was the time the enemies were mocking at the man of God. Now, the enemies were mocking at them because they realized that you know laying a foundation for 16 good years, the, the foundation of the temple became a monumental failure. The shame around the whole thing. And everything appears that no, nothing good will come out of Nazareth. Now she said, And that's when the word of the Lord came. That is when the word of the Lord came. This morning you are receiving the word from the Lord. You are receiving a message from the Lord oh, Jesus, me if you're that it is not by your political links it is not by your military might it is not by your financial connections it is not by your educational capabilities it is the might of the Lord it is the spirit of the Lord when the spirit of the Lord comes into the scene the Bible says in the beginning when God created the heavens and the earth the earth was without form and void and the spirit of God brewed over the surface of the Amen. earth and when Amen. the spirit of the Lord came Oh, Amen. there was sanity. Amen. There was order. Amen. Everything was put in Amen. place. I tell you, the spirit of God is coming upon your life Amen. this morning. And your life will be in order. Amen. Your life will be in order. Amen. Your life will become normal. Amen. Your life will be where God wants your life to be. Amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Because 
The enemies will do what they want to do. The witches and wizards will chant overnight. The forces of darkness will arise. And they will do what they want to do to make your life miserable. But I have come to declare to you that when Jesus was in the grave, Hey. And the devil told that he had finished with Jesus. They were celebrating the defeat of Jesus. They were celebrating the rottenness of Jesus. Because Jesus was in the tomb for three days. But when the Holy Ghost appeared, the Bible says that on the third day, on the third day, on the third day, on the third day Holy Ghost, the showman. He appeared on the scene. He appeared on the scene. And the body that was dead got out of the grave. Sorry for you, fool. That the that body could penetrate into buildings. The nah. body could go through buildings. Because it was a it was a glorified body. Hey, the spirit, if the spirit that raised up Christ from the dead dwells in you, that same spirit will quicken your matter body. Amen. That same spirit dwells in you. Amen. I have come to announce to you Amen. the spirit of God is inside Amen. you. The power of God is upon Amen. your life. The spirit we are talking about is Amen. inside you. For when you receive the Holy Ghost, Amen. you shall receive power. Amen. Hey, and you shall be my witnesses Amen. to the ends of the earth. Amen. The power of God is upon you Amen. because the Holy Ghost is upon you. Amen. The power of God is upon you because the anointing of God is Amen. inside you. And no power will be able to stand the power of God. Amen. No demon will be able to stand Amen. the power of God. Amen. No force of darkness will be able to stand the power of Amen. God. The power of God is above every other Amen. power. He's almighty. Amen. He's omnipotent. Amen. He's all powerful. Amen. No witch, no wizard, no force of darkness, Amen. no principality, Amen. no power Amen. will be able to stand the might of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Receive that might right Amen. now. Receive that anointing right Amen. now. Receive that fire right Amen. now. Amen. Receive that power right now. Amen. Receive it right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For it is not by might. It is not by power. Amen. But by, 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 by my spirit. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The spirit of God is here. The might of the Almighty is here. The glory of God is here. The anointing of God is here. And every yoke will be destroyed. Every burden will be lifted. The powers of darkness will be broken off your life. For the anointing shall break every yoke. The power shall destroy every yoke. The glory shall destroy every yoke. The spirit shall destroy every yoke. The anointing of God uh, is able to do uh, exceedingly abundantly beyond what we ask or think uh, according to his power that works within us. It is the spirit of God inside you. This morning you have the spirit of God. You have the anointing of God. You have the power of God. Don't be intimidated by the devil. Don't be limited by your limitations. Don't be limited by your capability. You have the spirit. You have the spirit and therefore you are complete. You are complete Complete. You don't lack anything because of the Spirit of God, because of the anointing of God, because of the grace of God. Your life has been transformed by this same Spirit. Your life has been transformed by the Holy Ghost. May you receive the Holy Ghost. May you be baptized in the Holy Ghost. May you receive the fire of the Holy Ghost. May your life never be the same because of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it. The power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 Not by might. And you are not by might. And you are Not by might. And you are He said, Your hand has laid this foundation. And your hand will finish it. Whatever you have begun in life, that's your building project, you will finish it. That's your business, you will finish it. Well. That's your marriage, God will take you far. That, that vision you have, God will help you to finish it. Don't be entangled. Don't 
be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Don't be downhearted. Know that your God is with you. The power of God is with you. The project will come to fruition. The project will materialize. You are starting a new something. A new something has the hand of God on it. Has the blessings of God on it. Has the favor of God on it. Has the blessings of God on it. And it will surely come to pass. In the mighty name of Jesus, you will be above and never below. At the top and never below. You will shine like the star of heaven. The glory of God shall be seen upon you. The power of the Almighty shall be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And this reminds me. So for say we kind of that except the Lord builds a house. They labor in vain that built it. Except, except the Lord watches over a city. They that watch watches but in vain. Hey, thank God the Lord is building your business. Thank God the Lord is building your marriage. Thank God the Lord is the one building what you are building. If the foundation be destroyed, what shall the righteous do? The Lord has laid the foundation of your life. The Lord has laid the foundation of your program. The Lord has laid the foundation of your business. The Lord has laid the foundation of your marriage. And he will show ensure that marriage is built. So Zechariah told the man of God don't worry at all. Don't look at the obstructions. Don't look, don't look at the enemies. Don't look at people who are not interested in what you are doing. Don't allow anything to dampen your spirit. Yes. Is that a failed, failed dream of yours? That little thing could be that failed dream of yours. It will never fail. You had a false start. No, this is just the beginning. Put yourself together and stand for what God has ordained for your life. Don't mock yourself. And don't allow others to mock what you are doing. Because you have the vision. You know where you are going. And you want to reach there. Nothing will obstruct you. Nothing will hinder you. Nothing will prevent you. What God has ordained to do with your life will surely be fulfilled. Don't give up on that goal of yours. Because of fear. Or past failures. I tell you, even your weakness, God will turn your weakness into strength. Your weakness will become beneficial to you. And he said, despise not small beginning you started just a foundation that's small way uh, so Zerubbabel, Babel don't be discouraged Babel don't look down on what you have done what God uses small things even human beings we put huge parcels in small packages Sometimes someone will, give, will bring you gifts on your wedding day. Why you from Big big box. Glass and But another person will bring you a little envelope. It may weigh light. But that package is huge. <laughs> God doesn't need big things to surprise you. Look at creation. Look at creation. Creation. Look at how beautiful man is. Was made out of dust. 
dust. If I give you dust to do something with it, what will you do with it? Look at how handsome you are. And how beautiful you are. Made out of something we step on, something we walk on, something we don't pay. Last time I, 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 I listened to a sister Gloria leading the prayers. Um, so for say, ye me about Gloria, no dim pipe when him that cry. The lady is anointed. Ah, ye me about Yamia Sran and more. The lady is highly anointed. Yamia Sran and even aware of the anointing of her life. And she was talking about my education, my education, my education. I haven't done this. My edic- hey, if you if you have the opportunity to educate yourself, it's, it's good. Mm-hmm. Hey, but what you carry is more than education. So for say, eh, yeah, no, you need me. Or see, my uncle Sukuo, my uncle Sukuo, my uncle Sukuo, so for say, only a quenya, now be Kusuku, eh, yeah. Whenever you stand here to lead, don't talk about your education, talk about God. Glory, I want it. So for so, Jinaha, now be dear, no kaya, man, come, Sukuo, I want to want some, can you want some? I, 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 I personally, I, I had elementary school. Uh, all right. So for say, or call school in That's what they call form four, but it wasn't uh, even the best. Ah, uh, ne, ne form four, MSLC. Nidia no kranye. Those times, our teachers will absent themselves six months. Uh, Any no. time they are not around, we'll go to the beach to go and swim. Sabre, no teacher for mum kochira diyo. Ning para ni akoto nshom ni esheme. I didn't take even even though I didn't take it serious. No, I'm not even more yempo. It's quite recently I decided to upgrade myself. I know so football no more this or bet one at this year. I'm not educated. Into no no, I'm not even so wako shuku wako nimbia. I preach to educated people. Now so I can't even ask them to learn from God. God will use you. I said God will use you. And you minister to educated people. Now what what that can't so much say one more shuku. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not queen you. I'm not queen you. Now I can't even ask them to learn from. Of course, latter years I tried to educate myself. Ah, now say ya, you fear be a dui so for a bomodi a konenim. It is just God. It is just God. Yeah. And I'm not even saying 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 Jesus did not use extraordinary men. Yes, one funny pa, one more bro, so be an ear, Juma, that's collectors. And Crawford, what did you talk? The same name. Sinners. Abonia for Sadducees and tent makers. Crawford, we see tent. People sad. Someone said Sadducees means sad to see. When you see them, they are sad to see. And Brabo Munimo Marafo, they be a bit the Sadducees, Nancrofoch, a Mudio Mohofe or Kakara. You see, Jacob prospered without any starting from anywhere. Oh, Yakobia, hey, from Osasia, so you sit in your Mishra. Deuteronomy 7 7, if you can project it, it's okay with Deuteronomy 10 Son, Chichamun Son. Deuteronomy 7 7. Most of whom I toss you noom. The Lord did not set his love upon you nor choose you because you were more in number than any people. For you were the fewest of all people. Every say nipa nyina mu na moye kuma. Continue. Continue with the yes, But because the Lord loved you, <inaudible> and because He will keep his, the oath which He sworn unto your fathers, had the Lord brought you out with a mighty hand <inaudible> and redeemed you of the house of bondmen from <inaudible> the <inaudible> hand of Pharaoh the king. the Lord did not choose Israel. Because they were numerous in number. With God, numbers does not count. God on your side, you are the majority. Yes. 
side, who can be against you? Look at how God paired Gideon with 300 men. You sent them to deliver the people from the oppression of the Midianites. Forget about what you don't have. And you know that you have the spirit of God upon you. Your, your beginning will be small. But your end will increase. Hallelujah. Amen. The selection of Saul. The Bible says that he was the least of the tribe of Benjamin. From, the, from that tribe. So don't think that you have to come from a well-connected family to get to where you want to get to. Look at how small David was, but he killed Goliath. What you are started by the help of God will take you far. He used small stones to kill Goliath. That your small capital, God is going to set it up for you. Sir, we see His blessing will be on it. And you will expand in every area of your life. Jesus used small meal. Five, you know, the loaves of bread and the fish. Yes, or the abode on num, ni nam yenu pe and patam yenu. Thousands of people. Ah, ni pam pim pim or the mamodiane. God used an insignificant Jewish girl. That would not permit me to go into what slavery was about in those times. But her influence turned the heart of the Syrian chief. King. Her influence brought healing to the Syrian king. And Naaman was healed. Don't look down on yourself. Despise not the day of small beginnings. Despise not the in a small way. For you have the spirit of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Amen. God. Is able to use even your small act of kindness for you to experience his blessings in a mighty way and to touch many lives. Now, Jesus said in Matthew 10 42, Jesus said, And whoever shall give drink unto one of these little, little ones a cup of cold water in my name. In, or in the name of a disciple, verily I say unto you, he shall in no wise lose his reward. It is most often these deeds of kindness, little, little things we do for people, that God will use it to bless. Yes, Matthew Now, when God revealed himself to Elijah, it was, it was not through an earthquake, but through a still small voice. And I will not despise what God is doing with this church. That a time is God going to come, God is going to bless you mightily. You will drive your own car. You will build your own house. Receive that blessing in Jesus' name. The problem we face is with parking lot. Because this whole place will be parked. Huh. We we'll have difficulty parking our cars. But God will bless us all. You are starting with a bicycle. Very soon, you will ride your own car. What the bicycle now says, yeah, in chair, we'll be tow car. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. 
Job 8, 7 says that though your beginning was insignificant, yet your end will increase. You know, God uses little, little things to teach us wisdom. Look at ants. God said we should go to the ants. And learn wisdom from it. The ant has all the leadership qualities. He has team spirit. He has foresight. He is diligent. And he, he knows how to save. He's economical. Very wise. And God said we should go to this small thing. Despise not the small thing you have started. So, you know, the Bible said that there are little, little elements like the badges. Like the badges. In a small animal, it lives in the rock, rock badges. Okay, 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 okay let, let me quote the passage <laughs> Proverbs 30 24. Proverbs. Four things are small on earth, but they are exceedingly wise. Proverbs 30, right? Yeah, Proverbs 30 24. 30, it's like a cone, a kind of cone. Okay. Yeah. There are four things which are little and upon nine, the earth, but they are exceedingly wise. Go, go on. The ants are a people not strong. Yet they prepare their meat in yeah. the summer. Yeah. The cornies, that, that's the badger. Okay, your friend in Kukubang. The cornies, they are very feeble. On my they, 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 they look like. Mm. Uh, yeah. This this rabbit rabbit. Ah, or say Mkuku Bang. Ah, or say on my ah wahunya de nan so wa ye won a dying abu time. In fact, they have a lot of enemies. Womu wa tanfu bebre a lion leopard nyata at chichiwamu. You know what? He's always living behind the rocks. Now one omu kwa temu time. They build their home. I want no see omu dying wall. So when the enemies come, and see one time for ba, no more janya kwa shaho. Very, very intelligent. As fragile as they are. Weak as they are. You can't get them. These are the things God wants us to learn from. Even the lizard. So we should learn from the lizard. Hey, lizard. We don't respect it. You, you have not been into President Kufo's house, but the lizard has visited there. <laughs> What you hey? Uncle, yeah, yeah, yeah. Now I'm paying you that I could fulfill your dance. So, cutre, wa kuhabre. I say he can say I am powerful. The lizard will point his, his hand to his chest. Say I'm very, very powerful. So cutre, beka se biwo to me. I have been to the parliament house. Ah, makobe biara. You have not been there. Jamie, you are new remu. So we learn from this little little thing. Yes, you yens a free sanyo man kiting kiti ho. Despise not the day of small beginnings. Oshasha seketu amu ne nimtia. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. The small things you are doing will become great. And no man can now we are a If you have a seed like the mustard seed, very tiny. You will do great things. Hallelujah. Amen. Saul by nature was very, very small, smallish. So who uh, became Paul? So my for Paul. Now now called this Saul. No, eh, yami asem che se anasi intushemu che se no yeni pa no eketwa. Even the akweti as ana noti. Even the the word Paul means little. Ah, yes, ni di inkra se no no che se adi esha. But look at how a giant he is in the kingdom. Now so che se no si ye kuku look at his impact. Che ni omo ye ye. God has chosen to work with seemingly weak people to confound those who are wise. So that so we will not glory in the arm of flesh. Hallelujah. Amen. See, so, as I said, let's look at the agents. 
These small things. You and I are the agent of that blessing. Amen. The agent <inaudible> of God's blessing. <inaudible> you may be overlooking that your, 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 your talent or your gift. <inaudible> You, you are looking at someone's talent and admiring that one. It's okay to admire. But I want you to know that how small your talent is, how small mm. your gift is, mm. God is going to use that. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It could be yourself. You are looking yourself that you are small. You cannot do much. Only looking at the negatives. Looking at what? So when people speak negative about you, it confirms what you already have. But don't despise yourself. You are a tool in the hands of God. You are an anointed tool in the hands of Almighty God. And God is going to use you. So we have to claim the promise. Um, we have to claim that he will use us that it is not by might it is not by power it is by his spirit that he will use Amen. us depend on his spirit depend on his power depend on his grace depend on his anointing depend on his favor so the Lord Almighty will use you so don't despise the early, early beginnings. Don't be despise what you have started. He who has called you is faithful. It's not about what you have. It is not about your ability. It is about your availability. Just avail yourself of God. And he will turn your situation around. And that situation will metamorphose into the grace of God. And into the glory of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall we please start? Nami ye Oh ye mami Eh eh se se 